What is DIAC? What is the principles of DIAC and its application? A DIAC, diode for alternating current, is a type of semiconductor device that belongs to the family of thyristors and is used primarily for triggering and control of other thyristor-based devices like triacs. It is a bidirectional device, meaning it can conduct current in both directions once the applied voltage exceeds its breakdown threshold. DIACs are commonly used in triggering circuits for controlling power in AC applications such as light dimming and motor speed control. The DIAC, diode for alternating current, has a simple semiconductor structure designed for bidirectional current flow. It is similar in construction to a diode, but is specifically designed to conduct in both directions once the breakdown voltage is exceeded. Here's a breakdown of its structure. Structure of DIAC. Three-layer semiconductor device. A DIAC typically consists of a three-layer structure of alternating P-type and N-type materials. It can be constructed as either a PNP or NPN configuration. PNP structure. In this case, there are two P regions separated by an N region. NPN structure. In this case, there are two N regions separated by a P region. Two terminals. A DIAC has two terminals, typically labeled as A1, anode 1, and A2, anode 2, or MT1, main terminal 1, and MT2, main terminal 2. Unlike a TRIAC or SCR, it has no gate terminal for external triggering. This simplicity is key to its bidirectional, symmetrical behavior. Bidirectional operation. Since there is no gate, the DAC conducts when the voltage between its two terminals exceeds the breakdown voltage in either direction, making it a bidirectional switch. The breakdown voltage is the same in both directions, typically around 30 to 50 volts. Working mechanism. Forward and reverse blocking. When the voltage between A1 and A2 is below the breakdown voltage in either direction, the DIC remains non-conductive, acting like an open switch. Breakdown and conduction. When the voltage across the DIC exceeds the breakdown voltage in either direction, it breaks down and enters a conducting state, allowing current to flow freely. Symmetrical characteristics. The symmetry of the DIC ensures that its breakdown voltage and behavior are the same for both positive and negative half cycles of an AC waveform, which makes it ideal for AC power control. No holding state. The DIC does not have a latching state. Once the current drops below a certain threshold, holding current, it automatically switches back to its non-conducting state, ready for the next cycle of operation. Symbol. The DIAC symbol in circuit diagrams is a triangle pointing towards a line, with two lines extending from both ends to represent the two terminals, A1 and A2. The symbol shows that the DIAC can conduct in both directions. The principles of operation of a DIAC, diode for alternating current, revolve around its ability to conduct current bidirectionally when the applied voltage exceeds a certain threshold, known as the breakdown voltage. Below are the key principles that govern how a DIAC operates. 1. Bidirectional Conductivity Symmetrical Conduction The DIAC is a bidirectional device, meaning it can conduct current in both directions, forward and reverse. It is used mainly in AC circuits where the voltage alternates in polarity. In both the positive and negative half cycles of an AC waveform, the DIAC behaves the same way. No gate terminal, unlike a TRIAC or SCR, a DIAC has no gate terminal, which means it cannot be externally triggered. It simply switches into conduction automatically when the voltage across its terminals exceeds the breakdown voltage. 2. Breakdown Voltage Blocking Mode When the voltage across the DIAC is below the breakdown voltage, typically between 30 to 50 volts, the DIAC remains in a high impedance, non-conductive state. It behaves like an open switch, preventing current from flowing. Breakdown Region when the applied voltage across the DIC, either positive or negative, exceeds the breakdown voltage, the DIC undergoes an avalanche breakdown. This leads to a sudden drop in its impedance, and the device begins to conduct current freely in that direction. 3. Sharp Switching Rapid Conduction Once the DIC reaches its breakdown voltage, it switches rapidly from a high-resistance state to a low-resistance conducting state. This rapid transition helps in producing a clean and sudden trigger for other devices like a TRIAC, which makes it useful for triggering and phase control applications. Symmetry of Breakdown The breakdown voltage is almost equal in both the positive and negative directions. 
This symmetry ensures that the DIAC can operate smoothly in both halves of an AC cycle, providing reliable switching for alternating current. 4. Holding Current Self-Resetting After the DIAC switches into conduction, it will continue to conduct as long as the current through it remains above a certain minimum value, called the holding current. Once the current drops below this threshold, typically at the end of the AC half cycle, the DIAC switches back to its non-conducting state. No latching. The DIAC does not latch into conduction. Unlike thyristors, e.g., SCRs, it automatically turns off when the current falls below the holding current, and it waits for the next voltage cycle to repeat the process. 5. Voltage Controlled Behavior Switching based on voltage, the DIAC operates purely based on the voltage applied across its terminals. There is no external control required, and it responds automatically to the magnitude of the applied voltage. 6. Hysteresis Voltage Drop After Conduction Once the DIAC begins to conduct, the voltage across the device drops significantly, and the current flows with minimal voltage drop across it. The DIAC will remain in its conducting state until the current falls below the holding current threshold. When this happens, the DIAC resets itself to the blocking state until the voltage once again exceeds the breakdown threshold. Operational Summary Non-conductive state The DIAC remains in a non-conducting state when the applied voltage is less than its breakdown voltage in either direction. Breakdown When the applied voltage exceeds the breakdown voltage in either polarity, the DIAC switches to a conductive state. Conduction After breakdown, current flows through the DIAC, and it remains in a low impedance state until the current drops below the holding current. Turn off. When the current falls below the holding current, the DIAC returns to its non-conductive state, awaiting the next half cycle. Key points. Breakdown voltage typically ranges from 30V to 50V, depending on the DIAC model. Conducts in both directions. The DIAC can conduct in both the positive and negative cycles of an AC waveform. No external trigger. The DIAC doesn't require an external gate to trigger it. Only the voltage across its terminals matters. This automatic switching behavior and symmetry make the DIAC an essential component in AC power control applications, especially for triggering devices like triacs and dimmers and motor speed control circuits. The DKC, diode for alternating current, is widely used in applications involving AC power control, especially in conjunction with triacs for smooth switching and triggering. Here are the key applications of DIAC. 1. TRIAC Triggering One of the most common uses of a DIAC is to trigger a TRIAC. In phase control circuits, such as dimmers or motor speed controllers, the DIAC ensures that the TRIAC is triggered only when the voltage across the DIAC exceeds a certain level. This allows for precise timing in triggering the TRIAC, which controls the amount of power delivered to a load. How it works In these circuits, the DIAC conducts when the voltage exceeds the breakdown threshold, delivering a pulse of current to the gate of the TRIAC. This turns on the TRIAC and allows current to flow to the load, such as a light bulb or motor. 2. Light Dimmers Diacs are integral components in light dimming circuits, especially for controlling incandescent lamps and other resistive loads. The DIAC, together with the TRIAC, controls the phase angle of the AC voltage applied to the lamp allowing smooth adjustment of brightness. Operation The DIAC triggers the TRIAC at specific points in each AC cycle based on the control input from the user via a potentiometer or similar device. By delaying the triggering of the TRIAC, the amount of time that current flows through the lamp is reduced, thereby dimming the light. 3. Motor Speed Control In AC motor speed control circuits, the DIAC is used to trigger a TRIAC that adjusts the phase of the AC voltage applied to the motor. By controlling the phase angle at which the TRIAC is triggered, the DIAC helps regulate the power supply to the motor, effectively controlling its speed. Application This method is commonly used in fan speed controllers and small household appliances like power tools. The DIAC ensures that the TRIAC switches on at the appropriate time, reducing motor speed when less power is needed. 4. Heater Control In temperature-controlled heating systems, such as electric space heaters or oven thermostats, DIACs are used to trigger a TRIAC, which controls the amount of power delivered to the heating element. This allows for temperature regulation based on feedback from a temperature sensor. Function 
The DAC triggers the TRIC, enabling power delivery to the heating element only when the system needs to heat up, ensuring energy efficiency and temperature stability. 5. AC Phase Control Phase control circuits are used to adjust the power delivered to an AC load by delaying the triggering point in the AC cycle. Diacs play a crucial role in these circuits by controlling the phase angle at which a TRIAC is triggered, which in turn adjusts the output power. Examples Fan speed controllers and ceiling fans Light dimmers in residential and commercial lighting systems 6. Snubberless TRIAC circuits Diacs are often used in snubberless TRIAC circuits. A snubber circuit is typically required to protect a TRIAC from high-voltage transients and ensure proper switching. However, in snubberless designs, the DAC assists in triggering the TRIAC more precisely, reducing the need for a snubber circuit and simplifying the design. Application These circuits are used in smaller, more cost-effective designs for low- to medium-power AC control applications, such as home appliances and power tools. 7. Over-voltage protection Diacs can be used for over-voltage protection in circuits where excess voltage could damage sensitive components. When the voltage rises above the diac's breakdown threshold, it switches to a conductive state, helping to absorb excess energy or triggering protective devices like a TRIAC to shunt the excess current. Example, surge protection in electronic circuits or equipment. 8. Relaxation oscillators. Diacs are also used in relaxation oscillator circuits, where they help to generate periodic waveforms, often for timing purposes. These circuits charge a capacitor until the diac's breakdown voltage is reached, at which point the DIC discharges the capacitor, creating an oscillating signal. Application Relaxation oscillators are used in timing circuits, signal generators, and function generators. Summary of DIC Applications TRIAC triggering for smooth and symmetrical AC switching. Light dimmers for adjusting the brightness of incandescent and resistive lighting. Motor speed control in household appliances like fans, drills, and mixers. Heater control in temperature-regulated devices. Phase control circuits for adjusting power delivered to loads. Snubberless TRIAC circuits for simplified designs. Over-voltage protection in sensitive electronic systems. Relaxation oscillators for timing and signal generation. These applications leverage the DIAC's ability to switch symmetrically in both directions and its reliable triggering behavior for devices like TRIAX, making it a vital component in AC power control circuits. In summary, a DIAC is a simple yet effective component for controlling AC power in bidirectional applications, especially where smooth and controlled triggering of a TRIAC is necessary.